This is the Iris recordable speaker. It's an Iris listener, which means it can be controlled by any Iris talker, any switch, be it an Iris Cube, uh, iPad, Iris color selector, any of those and more. It's a fantastic product, can be used in so many different ways, and I'll show you how it works. At the moment, it's being controlled via this, the Iris Cube. And all I do is turn the Iris Cube over, and whatever color is on the uppermost side of the cube, the Irish recordable speaker will tell us. So if I turn it to white. White is my favorite color. And then we're told what our favorite color is. There are 10 different sound selections on here. At the moment, we've got my favorite color in English. Turn it over again. Purple is my favorite color. Now, however, if we press this sound select button, we can see that the number changes from five to six. We now go into my favorite color in Spanish. Turn it over again. And so whenever you turn the cube over, it's going to tell you what the color is in Spanish. And now we'll press the sound select button again and we're into a whole new set of sounds, which is transport sound. So turn the cube over. Got the sound of a motorbike, turn the cube over again. Got the sound of a ship. This can be used in many, many, many ways. Uh, one of the ways that we've seen it used is putting the images of the sounds on a floor, getting the pupil or user to look for the right image, pop it into the right side of the cube. So you're working on sound recognition and also on picture recognition. Anyway, we'll move on to the next sound selection. So we press the button again and we're on to eight, which is circus. So turn the, turn the cube over again. We get the sound of an elephant. Turn the cube over again. And now we've got a, the sound of a clown. Turn it over one last time. And there we go, that's your circus sounds. Press the sound select button again and we're on to number nine. And this is nursery rhyme. So turn the cube over. And when you've had enough of that, turn the cube over again and you go to a whole new set of sounds. So what we'll do now is we'll move on to the next sound selection. I'm not going to show you zero and one yet. I'll keep you waiting for that. I'm going to move it on to number two. Number two is farmyard animals. So there you've got the dog, the uh, farmer's dog. Turn over the cube again. And now you've got sheep. And now we're on to sound selection number three, which is household items. So simply turn the cube over again and we get different sounds. And if we press the sound select button again, we go to number four and now we're into numbers. The recordable speaker gets really, really exciting though when you go to sound selections number zero and number one. So I'll move around to those now. And the great thing about these is you, you can record your own voicing and it's really simple to do. All I do is press the record button, the light flashes to say it's ready to record. I then tell, uh, turn the cube over to tell it what side to record onto. Hello, my name is Gareth. Turn the cube again and it will have stopped recording. Turn it back to yellow. And away we go. And you can record up to 16 hours into this one unit. So it's not just the Iris Cube that can control the Iris recordable speaker. As I mentioned before, any Iris talker can uh, control the recordable speaker. So now what I've got is the Iris Color Selector Deluxe. And to get this item to control the recordable speaker, all I do is press this switch here and then press any switch on the front of the recordable speaker. And now when I press the switch on here, Color. It's controlling the recordable speaker and this is really important because you can plug your own switches in here so if you can't access the large cube you can probably access this using your own switches. That's the Irish recordable speaker for you, really lots of things you can do on it and uh, lots of fun as well.